Okay, we're gonna take some water here. I already got some in there. Dump it over here so it's wet. It just helps cool the, boy, the drill bit. Okay, I have a diamond head drill bit. It's brand new. My cordless drill. Don't know how much of a charge is on it. Um, the biggest thing is just take your time. The weight of the drill is enough pressure. You don't have to push on it or you're going to break the glass. Um, I haven't broken one yet, but since I'm filming this one, it's probably going to be the first time. <laughs> but I have a spare, so... And it, it's going to jump. Um, you can make a template if you want. Um, I never do. However, if you do a wooden template, it's a lot easier to keep the drill in place. When you first start, kind of go at an angle so you can start the grooves. Um, it's going to be a really weird feeling to you. see where I'm at here. I should be fairly well through. I'm just going to set the drill down here. And it's going to be hot, so... T inside to catch the glass, kind of keep everything in place. I'm just going to rinse that off so I can see. Nice clear water. Now just be sure to try and keep even, even pressure on it. It's not always easy to do. It may skip and slide, but Try and hold it.
we're through. We are definitely through, and we did it. No broken tank. Wasn't even stressful. Okay. Now, it may not be a totally smooth edge, and you can try and clean it up a little bit. What I'm going to do here is try and clean up the edge a little bit. There we go. I'm going to dump my water off here. And try and pull my tape off here. I'll see if you can see this since I can't really see the camera. Let me check, take a check here. Okay. So, okay. Right here's the piece of glass. Totally round. Not broken at all. Um, you know, we did really well. Um, this isn't the first one I've done. Um, actually, I've done quite a few. It's, it's, you still get that little nervousness that you're going to break it. I'm going to pull off this piece of tape here. Masking tape works just as well. This is just what I had. Okay, we're going to leave it sit just like that for a minute. I'm going to go grab the three-quarter inch bulkhead. The black you see on it is just, I actually um, set the drill bit on there and traced it to try and keep a guideline. Okay, my three quarter inch bulkhead, little rubber gasket seal. I'm just going to slide this right in here. And with, with the tape on it like that, it kind of ensures it pulls away any little shards of glass that might be in there. Finger tight. You can always tighten it more later. And voila! We have a drilled tank. Um, for my purposes, I'm just um, going to have this go down into my sump, which is actually another 10-gallon tank. And then I'm just going to use a MaxiJet 1200. Um, I'm going to restrict the flow a little bit with a ball valve and we're going to run that up and just hook it over the side of the tank and that will be my return. Um, this is for my um, Erecta Seahorse Fry um, and I just figured people might want to know how to drill a tank with just standard household equipment.